Hello, Aldo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how once you are done rendering your sequence within Maya, how to create a video file. So what you can see right here, I have my script editor. This window, you click on this little button down here in the bottom right hand corner brings up the script editor. I had to resize my window so that I'm able to view the contents. You can see right here, it, it's giving me the entire uh, history. Uh, really what the script editor is, it is kind of like uh, it's giving you the results. Um, you could also use this down here at the bottom if you know uh, how to use uh, mal scripting, the Maya embedder language. Uh, but what we're using this window is just to see the results of our uh, rendering. You can see right here, it was able to render out all 120 frames. I have a window right here open. Let me go ahead and bring this one into view. And you can see how I have, uh, I, I'm, I'm wanting windows here, and I have all of my images here in one folder. Uh, this is within my images folder, within my project directory, and I could just see the preview. I have all these images. Now, what to do with these images? What I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how we're going to be making use of Photoshop. Photoshop has a really uh, easy way of being able to create a video and we're going to export that video, uh, the sequence of images as a video from Photoshop. Uh, what I have here is uh, I already have Photoshop open. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this into view. And what I'm going to do in Photoshop, uh, first I should mention that you should have all of your images should be in sequential order. Uh, if you remember within my render settings, uh, though it doesn't say it, these are all TIFF files. Here, I could just hover it. You can see how it says it's a TIFF file. It's the name, dot number, and then dot extension. Very important that we have it this way. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm just going to go into, I'm not going to create new. I'm going to go into File, Open. And I'm already here to my folder, but I would want you to navigate to your images folder to the directory that has all your images. And I'm just going to select the first one. And on the options at the bottom, make sure that you select image sequence. We want to tell Photoshop that to load all the images and make sure that all of your images are in sequential order. Uh, also make note, if you see any image that doesn't have a preview, uh, that could mean that Maya was not able to render it properly. So you might have to just render out that one image. If you find that, if that's the case, let me know and I'll help you out. So all my images are here and I select the first one, tell it to turn on this image sequence. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to open. And what Maya is going to do, it's going to give you this little window that's over here, it's asking you for a frame rate. What I'm using for my animation settings, I have it set at 24 frames per second, and I'm gonna tell it okay. And now what Maya just did, it opened up all of your images. And if you need to, uh, the timeline isn't displayed by default. You go into window and turn on timeline, and it's going to give you a timeline down here. There's little, uh, playback controls down here in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and press play. And you can see our uh, a preview of our animation. Now, this isn't saved out yet. Uh, if you click on this little gear right here, if your computer is capable, you can increase the resolution from 50% to 100%, which if I play it, you can see that it looks a lot sharper. Now, this is just a preview. It's, it it's hasn't been rendered yet. It hasn't been saved. So we're not going to do anything to, to it. It's fine. Now, if you want to, optional. You could use this. You could add a title card if you want to. It's not necessary at this point, but you're able to do that. You are able to add audio as well. But what I want to do, I just want to save this out. So within the timeline, over here, to the far right, you see this little button. Sometimes this is referred to as a hamburger button because it has those three horizontal lines. All right, this little option bo box right here, I'm gonna click on it. And what I want to do 
to save out your video, we're gonna tell it to render video. I'm gonna click on this option here, click. And within the window that comes up, I'm gonna go ahead and name my file. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use my name, Alto Figueroa, and this is gonna be my project one. I'm gonna use the .mp4. If you wanna select a location, you could go ahead and tell it to select folder. I'm just gonna place it, it's gonna place it within my images folder, which is gonna to be totally fine. For Adobe Media Encoder, I wanna make sure that that option is selected. I'm gonna use the H.264. For the preset, I'm gonna leave it to high quality document size. Uh, my, my, my image is rendered at a low resolution, but yours are probably gonna be at least uh, 1280 by 720. The frame rate, I'm gonna leave it at document at 24 frames per second. And everything else is gonna be, I'm gonna leave it as is. The range is gonna be all frames because I wanna render everything out. And now I'm gonna tell it to render. And what it's going to do, it's going to save out your progress. Now, uh, I didn't show you it on my screen, but I had a little progress bar, but that's it, it's done. I'm gonna go back into my uh, Explorer. So I'm gonna go in here and right here is my file. I'm gonna double click on it. It opened up in a different window. And here is my file saved out as, uh, I believe it's a, a .mp4 file. And there's my file and that's it. That's how you're able to save your file out as a movie file. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back up. Let's go ahead and press play. And we can see now our animation in its full glory. And that's it. That's how you're able to save. And this, uh, this is available on both Mac and Windows. Uh, if you do not have access to Photoshop, uh, there are other methods that we could uh, also explore. Um, but Photoshop uh, is, for many of my students, is readily available. And it's a really fast and easy way of being able to do this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.